Greetings and thank you for tuning in to the filling station. This week we talked about getting back to the garden. Jesus gave us the opportunity to knock down the walls and return to the garden. Will you go back? Tune in and be blessed. See it. Read it. <clears throat> People don't believe it anymore, but I do. Darwinism came about and made us start questioning the evolution of man. Remember that? Yeah. You learned that in school, evolutionism. You know, yeah. Believe that God just spoke it. They didn't believe God blew. They didn't believe that He made who He made. See, I read this in Genesis one, and He said. Turn to, because I, I need you to see something, because we say Adam was, was, was the first man. No, he was the first son. Right. Wasn't the first man. Come on, come on. We start reading the Bible chronologically. He oh. made Job and them first. Job was his perfect man, but Adam became his son. So when we go to Genesis chapter 1, I said, see, I like this, the, lick, the finger licking pages. He said in, in 1, he said in 21, he said, God, and God created great whales and every living creature that move it. I want you to see this because I need you to, when we sing indescribable and, and all of that, he, he spoke the stars in the sky, he knew them by name. That's why we say he's amazing. But I want you to see this right here. He said, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. But in 22, he said, and God blessed them, saying, be fruitful to multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let the fowl uh, uh, multiply in the earth. But then he said in 27, now, wait a minute, let me go back. He said, and, 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 and in the evening and the morning were the fifth day. I've been reading this since Monday, so I, I absolutely know what I'm talking about. He said, even on the fifth day, and God said, let the earth bring forth living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. See, back then, you could probably do an organic diet, but you can't do it today, because ain't nothing after its own kind no more. Come, Come on. on. We done half breeded, hybrided, yeah. done some things we weren't supposed to do. God, when he said don't do it, he mean don't do it. Right. Don't mix. The cow's supposed to be with the cows. Not you trying to entwine a, a goat and make a cow goat. That's not what he said. Come on, and we trying Come to do on, it because we do we do hot man man. The Bible says uh, uh, Solomon said in Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, man will do some stuff to ruin his own self. Yeah. Yeah. No, too much. That's too many questions. If God said it, then it is so. Right. How hard is that? So then it says, he says. And, and, and the beast after his kind, and the cattle, and everything that creepeth, and God saw that it was good. But in 26, he said, and let us make man in our image. You see that? Do the same thing about Adam right there. Not yet. It's Job and them. He said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Then he said, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Yeah. And over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. Every, every creepy thing that creepeth up on the earth. He first called the man to work. If, if, you, if I got dominion over something, that means I got a job. I'm right. a boss. Right. Come on. That's Job in now. That wasn't Adam. Then he say, so God created man in his own image. That's 27. Mm -hmm. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created <clears throat> he him. Male and female created he them. Did you see that? Yep. He created he, them. Adam and Eve wasn't discovered yet. It was right. chapter one now. We got it. So you get, that's why we don't understand because we don't, we, don't, we don't take the time to read. We yeah. got everything on our phone but the Bible. We got timers for this and time. Do you have a timer to read the word? I dare you to, to put it out every hour when you read something. I dare you to change your life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's better than scandal how to get away with murder. And what's the new show that just came back on Empire? Yeah. I came and ain't got nothing on this. And so then he say, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And then he said, and, and subdue it. Take care of it. 
That's what he meant when he said that. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in which the, in, in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Vegan. It's a vegan thing. Ain't nothing new. Come on. Did, did, did you see what this said? It shall be, it shall be for meat. The, the leaves are meat. And the fruit is juice. Come on. Right. I want you to see this. We weren't meant to do a lot of things that we have done. When he said don't do it, he mean don't do it. But he did bless the steak later on in uh, the book of Acts. Bless the Lord. So then he said, and to every beast of the earth, come on, y'all, I got to read your Bible. He come told on. Peter, get down there and eat that chicken with everybody else. You're not an exception to the rule. Right, come on. You might be a Jew, but I need you to get down there with the Gentiles and eat and share who I was. That's what I need you to do. Don't, don't be no antisocial Christian. You sitting on the roof speaking in tongues. Get down there. I bless that food so you can eat it. Right. Come on. Got to read your Bible. Then he said, unto every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green earth for meat. And it was so. And then I want you to jump to two. He says to chapter two, thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the, all the host of them. And on the seventh day, oh my God, here it is. Here it is. He said, okay, 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 on the sixth day he did create man, but it didn't say he created yeah. You see that? Mm -hmm. He said, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work, which, which God created and made. He was, he was he wasn't tired, but I just let me just sit back and just take a gander. Yeah, and let me look at God. look at what I made. Yeah. What should we do next? Is what he said. That's why we just saying he's amazing. Because what shall I do next? Then he say, There are the gen these are the generation of the heavens and the earth, and they were created in the day that the Lord God had made earth and heavens and every plant of the field before it was the, was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew and the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth yet and there was not a man to till the ground. Did you see that part? He formed man, but there was to, to be over the, to, the, fit, the, the ocean and the fish and the fire, but there was not a man to till the ground. Are y'all are y'all there? Because I, I need you to see this. Chapter this is chapter two, verse seven. He said, "And the Lord God formed man of the dust." Somebody's Bible say a man, or does it just say man? Formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living what? Being. <laughs> a living what? Being. I need a man to till the ground. I got a man here to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, but I need somebody to till the ground so I can walk on it. Do y'all get that? Then he said, right here, he said, he said, he breathed into his nostrils and became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Did you? You see that? Now, see, he created the other man in his image, but he formed this man. Oh my God! Oh my God! Are you are you listening? Because y'all ain't saying. <laughs> he formed, and out of the ground made the Lord made the the Lord grow, uh, the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. See, I want them to do the labor, but Adam, I, that's my son. I need him to till the ground. Then he said. He said, and good for the and good for food. And the tree of life is in the midst of the garden. And the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Here, here it is. Tree of life. Tree that gives life. The tree that gives food. The tree that gives <coughs> what I need. The tree that 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 I can look at and say it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But 
Then he said, and the tree of knowledge of good. And then it's the seventh day. Wasn't he supposed to be resting? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wasn't he supposed to be relaxing? Did, have we looked at that before? Numerous times. Numerous times. But he rested and made all of these things here. This is, this is mankind that he just made. His chosen mankind. I want y'all to replenish the earth, but I need one man that's formed just like me so he can till the ground when I'm not here. Come on. Come on. When I'm not here, I need him to till the ground. And he walks with me and he talks with me. Remember that song? Y'all probably too young. And the joy that we share as we tear it there, none of it has never known. See, I, I need somebody to, to, to talk to me. Come on. So that's why I formed this man and blew into his nostrils and made him a, a living soul. I made them, but I made this one a soul just for me. See, okay, let me get, because see, I've been reading this since Monday, that's so why I told you I know what I'm talking about. And then he say, and a river went out of Eden to, to water the garden, and from hence it was parted and became the four, the four heads. See, we don't need to know that, but we need to know, down in 15, he said, and the Lord God took the man, put him in the garden, of Eden to dress it and to keep it. You see that? It's in the middle of the garden. He said to work and take care of it. I said, God, what does that mean? I need somebody to cultivate. I need you to cultivate what I've already done. I need you to subdue it. I, I need you to, he said, the tree of life allows us to live forever. That's what it was designed for. That's why we always talk about resting paradise and all of that kind of stuff. That's nice. That is. But he say, I designed it for you to be that way in the very beginning. I had to put a halt to it. I, oh, let me, before I get to, I just need to say, okay. And so he said, to dress it and to keep it. And then he said, and the Lord God commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden, thou may eat it freely. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. I've given you free reign to, to eat everything. The meat, the fruit, every tree of the garden. Why? Because you my man. I formed you. I want you to do what I want you to do. Did you get that? Yeah. That's what the tree of life allotted us to do what we want to do in him. Come on, not in yourself. Right. That's why he made two trees. Let me just see what, 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 which is what. But I need to make this tree. Why? Because when God created stuff, he gave us who he was. So all of the things he formed and he made, the devil was already made right in here. He was already formed and shaped in the image. Come on. Come on. He was meant to do just what he does. That's what we meant to do what we do too. He said, you meant to praise me. You meant to worship me. You meant to till the ground for me. He said, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, this is where this is where we have a problem. Thou shalt not eat of it. For in that day thou shalt eat it, therefore ye shall surely die. Now we know Adam didn't die a, a, a physical death, but he died a spiritual death. Yeah. So we say that. He said, eat of the tree and die. What he was saying was the wages of sin are death. Bad. The tree of good and knowledge of, of, of knowledge of good and evil was a sin nature tree. When you eat of that tree, you're going to open up your sin nature. I mean, you eat of that tree. Every hand should be raised. Because we've all eaten of the tree of knowledge. Good and evil. Come on. Because we want to do what we want to do. But God said, I made the tree of life so you can do what I want you to do. Not just what I want you to do, but what I need you to do. Yeah. I, need, I need you to till the ground in worship services so my people can be healed. I need you to till the ground in worship. I need you to bruise the head of the enemy so somebody can get breakthroughs in praise. Come on. Come on. But what do we do? We tempt the Lord. One of the commandments say, tempt not the Lord, not God. Is it a commandment or just a command? It might be a command. Amen. Okay, it's a command. <laughs> so then he said, and the Lord said, it is good. Not that the man should be alone. This is all this is all he's taking. He made the trees for he made Eve. Come on, he made the fruit for he made her. 
Everything was made, but she stepped on the same woman. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's why you don't mistreat your man. Because he was made before you. Oh my, I'm saying, I'm saying something right there. <clears throat> Nobody gonna say nothing. But I said it. I said it right there. He said. Amen. I said something. I said something. That's why you have to be submissive. Because he was made before you. I said something again. Didn't I? Okay, so out of the guard, out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and, and, and the fowl of the air and brought them unto who? He didn't bring them to nobody else. In the other scriptures, he said he made them to be uh to have dominion over them. He brought them to Adam. So because Adam was chosen. I need you to see this. He brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. You can call it whatever you want, son. Right. Get on over here. What you want? Kangaroo? Okay. Right. Whatever he wanted. I need somebody to be just like me in the earth is what he's saying. I need you to get that first before I take you to the to the rebuke side. Amen? Yeah. Come on. I need you to get the love of it first. Amen? Because we all want the love part. We don't want that, that lash, which is coming next, just so you know. So then he said, to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. That was it. And he said kangaroo, then it was the kangaroo. And in 20 he said, and Adam gave names to call cattle, to all the cattle, and to all the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field, the chicken, come on, everything. And then he said, but for Adam was not found, and help me for him. He had a lot of work to do. He said he needed to help me. So then if God said, God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, but the sleep took, excuse me, and, the, and, and, and took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her also unto the man. And I say anything about you getting a husband. Come on, because we, come on, we, we cause a lot of mess right here with these scriptures sometimes. We just do. You good. You good. And so then and Adam said, now this is born of my bone, flesh of my flesh, and she should be called woman. Why? Because his rib was taken out of her. Do we get that? It's not because y'all, they so in love. They didn't even know each other yet. She didn't even have a name yet. Let me just, let me move on from that because that's like another thing. But anyway, so then he said, therefore shall a man leave his father, mother, and all of that. Okay. So now we, we to the part where, let's, let's go to the tree. Let's go to the tree. Go to chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree in the garden. How, we, how do you know? How, how many know that every time you pray or say something, there go old, what we call them, slew foot. Slew foot. Listening. Listening. How did he know? Well, you, you, you going to come tell me what he told him? He didn't tell me that. He just made me. And so the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the trees of the garden. Because Adam told her, yes, we're going to eat of the trees of the garden, but we probably can't eat of that one. And then he said, but the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. And so for God doeth know in, all, in the day that ye eat thereof, your eyes will be opened. Did you see that? When we eat, when we eat the sin, our eyes are open. Put this big boy down, because that big boy helped me through it. When we eat the, when we eat of the, the tree, sin opens your eyes. Yeah. Sin opens your eyes. And then he said, he said, so lest you die. So then he said, for God knows that you open your eyes, and, and, and ye shall be as gods, small g gods. You see that? What do we think we are today? God. Small g gods. Mm -hmm. Come on. Even the rappers think they small G gods. Why? Because they have so much power and control over the minds of you. That's true. The singers too got power and control. Love Beyonce. Love you, man. But she's got power and control. They say she coming to town. You spend three hundred dollars to get a ticket. That's power and control. Mm-hmm. And your rents do. Uh, or your tides are due. Right. So then it says, for God knoweth that. And then he said, and the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And it was pleasant to the eye. Now see, I would, this, this is not where I was not supposed to go here, but thank you, Holy Ghost. And the tree is, is to be desired. 
You see that? that, that that's the desire to circle in my book because we got stuff on the tree that's to be desired. You know that dragon fruit that's in the store? It's ugly, but it's to be desired because you good. want it to taste like. Mm -hmm. And then when you hear people say, ooh, it's so good, you want to see everything good to your eyes and good for you. Uh, the prince say all that glitters ain't gold. Y'all ain't heard that? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then he say, and so she took up the fruit thereof. Does it say an apple? No. Right. It says she took up the fruit thereof. And then it says, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he ate. And the eyes of both of them were open, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. I want to know why we like to be naked all the time, because that's the nature of who we are. Come on. Babies love when you take a pamp off a baby, they just be fine. Because right. this is how I came into the earth. Come on. I go home the day everything comes off. So I live alone because that my birthday suit is how I was made. Oh, shot Come on. Down, down, Come on. I'm, I'm saying something right there. Oh, God. We get, na we get naked and ashamed. Come on. You ate the tree, now you got insecurities. You don't like to look at your own body. That's why you don't like to be naked. Got body dysmorphia. Got some fat over here. Well, you better embrace it and let it hang. That's the way we came into the, that's the natural nature of who we are. Barefoot naked. Come on. So it's right here. That ain't me. It's right here. I just know where my roots belong right in there. So he said, you eat of the sin and you die. The wages of sin are unto death. When Adam ate of this fruit, Adam died. He died spiritually. He said, you're naked. And then he said, and hid himself. Uh -huh. So then God came, went in verse 9, he said, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Don't you think God knew where his special son was? Uh -huh. We don't heard that. We don't heard this preached before. And then he said, And I, 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 heard, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. How did you know you were naked? Well, I ate of the tree that you told me not to eat of. Now my eyes are open. Now I can see my insecurity. That's what sin makes you do. It makes you see your insecurities. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15. Because I want to show you something here. When Adam died, the Bible declares that we all die. When that one man died, he come on. That was the first special son. We all died. Mm -hmm. But then I, 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 I got to tell you how we got born again, but I got to walk you through it. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Are we there? I need you to get there because I, I want you to see this. Chapter 15. We're going to start at 17, verse 17. And he said, and, and, for, 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 and if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain. See, this is Adam had died right in here. We, we needed a second son to come. Mm -hmm. So he said, that ye, 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 you are not, ye are not in your sins. They also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. How many have fallen asleep in Christ? Oh, they're God. still alive. You can still see them, but they're fallen asleep in Christ. Mm. That means that they have perished. Yeah. They perish. The sheep we were singing about this morning who doesn't know that he loves them even though the condition of their hearts are messed up. Those are the ones we're talking about. They perish. You see that? Somebody take his place because his feet hurt and let him sit down. They perish. Somebody got to do it. I can see it. Okay? So then he say, because see, we service. You service first in here. Amen? You, if you miss that part of it, then you don't need to go out into the world and tell nobody you belong to God. Because if you're not a servant, you don't belong to him. I'm telling you right now. If you, amen? Amen. You want to be served. This, ain't, this is not the walk for you. I just want you to know that. Just want you to know that. If you want somebody to get you some water all the time, this ain't for you. <laughs> so right. then he say, then also to you have fallen asleep in Christ. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable. You say, let me read that again. If in this life we have hope in Christ, we are all men most miserable. 
it's going to be a long holiday, so that's why I was trying to get him some help. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that have slept. Come on, he's the mercy seat for you. You don't went to sleep, he can wake you up. Come on. See, there's a tree, there's a different tree that we need to be eating from now. Come on, because he said, hey, God was telling me, he said, I want you to take a walk back into the garden. There's things that we've lost in the garden. Remember how beautiful I read that all to you? You see how he had made all of that and stuff? We lost that. Right. We got to learn how to take a walk back into it. We got to learn how to, what, we, we got to learn how to get back to the garden because there's stuff there that we miss. We miss it. You ever, you ever hear a song and you just, you just be like, oh, because you miss it. Because can't nobody touch you like Jesus can. When you hear, I hear, when I heard, uh, 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 what's the song? Anything by the wine, it sets me in. But he, there was a song that says, millions didn't make it, but I was one of the ones who did. Y'all know that? Mm -mm. I said, we got a young crowd. A certain song just send you right on in. They just send you right. It's anytime I hear on the radio, Lord, you are so amazing. That thing sends me right. I don't care if it just came on at yeah. 2 o'clock and it's 6 o'clock. I'm here again. Anytime you hear that, you're done. I had to bring it to y'all because y'all ain't ready for that wine. You have to know. See, he said that, 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 that. When he said that wakes you up, that's what wakes you up. That's what keeps you from sleeping and slumbering. That Lord, you that's right. are. So no, Matt, you could have been just, just done something that he didn't like. But when you, I bet you when you hear that, you get your, ooh, God. Mm -hmm. cannot, come on. Amen. You just get lost. You get lost because you done woke up. See, but why can't we stay like that? Right. So he said, for as Adam, wait a minute, let me get back because I don't got lost myself. 21, it said, for since by man came death. By man came death. By man also came the resurrection of the dead. Come on. See, by Adam came the death, but by Jesus also came the resurrection of those of us who, who wanted to remain asleep. Uh -huh. Come on, he woke us up. Even before he resurrected. I believe that Jesus, when he walked the face of the earth and began spit, made that spit palate for that man's eyes to be healed. Come on, that woke a lot of people up. He, he told the man not to tell nobody, but if, if Jesus spit on some, some dirt and put it in your eyes, is you going to tell somebody, I believe I'm going to tell it all. Yeah, yeah. I was just walking on the ocean, and I heard him, and he spit on some, some dirt and, in my eyes. And look, I'm looking at you. Oh, bless his name. Right. That would have been me. See, he wakes us up with his goodness. He wakes us up with his mercy. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what he does. This is before the resurrection now. That's the kind of Jesus that you need. You need the Jesus that was, was, was the one that had the breakfast with the disciples. Every time I read that story, that thing breaks my heart. Come on. Mm. That wakes me up again. Come on. And Peter jumped out the boat and swam like he didn't have no sense. I believe he couldn't have beat Michael Phelps. I mean, Michael Phelps couldn't have beat him that day. Yeah. The way he swam across the shore. I got to touch him. I got to see him. Because a lot of this was my fault. Come on. Well, y'all ain't said nothing right there. But then he said, but since that man came by death, that he talking about Adam. That's the man right there in 21. Another man came also by the resurrection of the dead. He said, for as in Adam all died. Come on. Uh -huh. We was in Adam, we all did. Come on. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. Alive. Come on. That's it. Do you? Are we reading this here? Even so in Christ. He said, but every man in his own order. It's an order. Then he said, and, and Christ, the first fruits afterwards, that they are Christ's at his coming. You rise in him. He makes you alive because of who he is. The music that he inspired. That's why you know it's stuff ain't God. In, this is not God inspired. It's one song that I can't stand. I'm sorry. Okay. She said, I decided I'm uh-uh, that's, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't know that song. When you listen to it, you know what I'm talking about. It sounds so R&B and so secular-ish. It don't wake me up. It don't wake me up. But I bet you when you hear that, and I cannot imagine. Come on, you know what's inspired by him because it wakes you up. Feed your soul. If it don't feed all of us, then it ain't the right feeding. Come on. Did you hear what I said? If everybody in agreement with it, then it's not, it's not resounding from heaven. Nope. So then he says, when Adam died, we all died. No, 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 no more. That generation is no more. Mm -hmm. 
You know why? Because Jesus stepped on the scene in Matthew. Yeah. He was born of a virgin named Mary. Yeah. But I needed to come through something that was clean again. Like I came, like I formed him. Uh, let me form a come woman on. that's poor. Let me form somebody who I know, blemish. grandmama, who great grandmama taught her. Come on. The Messiah is coming and it's going to come through a woman. Because that's what the prophets of old told her. That's what she learned when she went to church as a child. Come on. That's what they taught her in Sunday school. It's a prophet that's coming, but she didn't know it was coming through her. Yeah. That's why that man who wrote that song, Mary, did you know that your baby that boy, your baby boy. one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy? And then, and then she, then at the part I like is when he said, when you kiss your little baby. Come on, come on you kiss the face. Of, <laughs> That's the part. So oh, God. Did, come on. And, and what did it do? It woke you up? Come on. My God. Who that thing just gave me the chills, right? The face of God. Oh, God. My Lord. Come on. That's what he formed her. He formed her. He formed her just like he formed Adam. Uh huh. To be his special son. And he me to bring another one. Because y'all done died. After Malachi said what he said with his sarcastic self, y'all, let me bring, let me shut up. Let me not say nothing for about 400 years. Didn't we learn that? Let me just keep my mouth shut before, because y'all done made me mad. Y'all done died. But because I love you so much, let me bring my son to the forefront for you. Let me take you back to the garden for a minute. Let me just take you back and let you see the beauty of my holiness. Mm -hmm. So then, oh God, what happened to God? So then he say, he say, oh, wait a minute. Just got to get together. He say, but then the coming, no, that ain't it. That's not what I want. Let's go to Revelation 22, because I need to walk you, walk you through the story so you can see what the problem is. 22 and 12. We are a sinful people, because we don't eat from the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil. And there's a tree of life that we denounce, because we don't know nothing about it. Come on. Come on. Do we talk about the, do you know what's on the tree of life? Do, 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 we, do, do we know what, what we left behind? Do, 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 we, do we know what, what, what happened to us? We let somebody fool us. Come on. Mm -hmm. We let something fool us. We let something take us away. We let something let us know how naked we were. And then we got ashamed and afraid and left the garden. Because we had to go work now and, and till the grounds for real. Mm -hmm our hands like the other man he formed to have dominion, we had to be like them now. Because the Bible said he put some angels around the Garden of Eden so they couldn't come back in. See, you would, he, what happened is, is sin makes us unworthy to see the Garden again. That's right. Come on. Sin makes us unworthy. You ate from this tree you weren't supposed to eat from. How many ate from that tree? Come on. The hand should be right. Come on. We all have eaten from the tree that made us separated from God. Yeah. Bible say the wages of sin are death. death. That means if you keep doing it, you are sure to die. Yeah. So Eve, if God you keep talking to him, you and Adam are going to die. And they did. Spiritually. A spiritual death happened. The Bible doesn't say the wages of sin are a physical death. It just said the wages of sin is death. Mm-hmm. 22, let's get there. Am I saying something to y'all today? Because I know that, that I have the right message here. Because it's time for us to understand that we have an opportunity to go back to the garden. Mm -hmm. We have Jesus gave us an opportunity to go back to the garden. Because it's stuff I need that, that's in the garden. But when I walk in the garden, I can't nobody go but me. You see how Adam was by himself? Can't nobody go but you. Can't nobody go but you. You, 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 we have an opportunity to knock down the wall of partition. Come on. Not, not, not the driver and Beyonce song. I'm talking about you yourself have the opportunity to knock down the wall of partition. Come on. 22 and 12. Are we there? Yes. 22 and 12 says, 
Then, and see, here it is right in here. This is why we need to understand. If Adam died, those are the generations that are no more. But check this generation now. My report, he's saying, oh, God, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Because, see, this is the one that I, I, I highlight right here. And I highlighted it and stuff. And it's just all, you know, my, my Bible looks like a color book anyway. But it just say, he said, and behold, I come quickly. And my reward is what? With me. What does it say? Is with me. My reward is not without me. My reward is with me. So uh -huh. when you step back into the garden, what do you get? My reward. Oh, uh -huh. God. He said, he said, he said to, to, to give every man according to as, wait a minute, to give every man according as his work shall be. I have to give it to you according to what you have done. Come yeah. on. I have to give the reward to, to, to what you have done. You know, they say, oh, people say, I should wear a crown, and I got, he going to have stones all in my crown and right. stuff like that. I have to give that to you according to what you have done. Yeah. When it's all over, we all going to wear a crown, but what's your crown going to have in it? Yeah. What is it going to look like? Come on. Is it going to be decadent and diademed? Come on. Is it going to be a bling bling special or what? But you just going to have a one tear. Yeah. Then he say, my reward is in me to every man according to as his work shall be. I am, this is a part I like right in here. I am Alpha and Omega. See, those letters are capitalized in my Bible. It is capitalized in yours, ain't it? Yeah. Come on, because that's a noun that means something. He said, I'm the beginning and the end. That old Greek alphabet ain't nothing without this Bible. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing right there. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He said, blessed are they who do, those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the what? The tree of life. Life. Your Bible should say. Yep. The right to the tree of life. But what, what does it say? You have to do his what? Commandments. Yeah. Can't have a right to the tree of life if you don't do his commandments. I want to show you what's waiting in the tree of life. And then it says, and may enter in, the, in, in through the gates unto the city. You see that? Uh -huh into the city. You got, you got a right to the tree of life right now. Then you're able to enter into the gates of the city. I want to show you what's, in the, what's on the tree. Y'all, well, I'm telling you right now, y'all who miss Bible study, I feel so sorry for you because Thursday, my God from Zion, y'all need, now that's in my Bible, it's, it's no, no taking, amen? Y'all missed it, the atonement part two. The atonement means the at one mint. You, that means you become one with Christ. Are you listening to me? Yeah. You become one with him. Bible study is, it, they used to tell us that the one church we used to go to, Bible study was mandatory, but they weren't talking about that, so I didn't feel like I needed to go. But this Bible study that we have, and yes, I am beefing eyes up above everybody else, is because they weren't talking about that. Remember when they used to say Bible study is, is mandatory? Workers and leaders. Then we went to another one, another church. They said the same thing. Mm -hmm. But wasn't nobody talking about nothing. But right in here, we call it encounters with the Bible at the field session because that's what we come to have. We come to have an encounter. We set off to have an encounter, not to just be talking about, you know, well, it's gonna, we're going to take a study on Revelations. For what? What is the purpose? Mm. Study guides and everything. Study guides and stuff. Got to pay for some stuff, pay for books and current on, pay for highlighters at the door. No, when you have an encounter with the Bible, it lets you know what you need to know via the encounter. Right. So I, I, I made some trees, but I didn't, I didn't, they left on my desk and I haven't been at work all week because of the, the death and everything. But I want you to see what's on the tree. Before I do that, let's go to Romans 5. I, 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 it does, I don't care, that it, my long-winded, it doesn't matter. Let's go to 5. Because see, when you're long-winded and saying something, I can sit. But when you ain't saying nothing, we're going to get antsy. You're going to see some ADHD popping off in the congregate. Come on. Got to, we got to be mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you form a, you, 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 you teachers and, and preachers that's coming up. If somebody get ADHD in the audience, you ain't saying nothing. Come on. Right. Oh okay, okay. I'm not talking about no spirit. I'm talking about you not saying nothing. But am I saying something? Nah. So I wanted you to just let me know. So five, let's go to five, 12. He said, wherefore, by as one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. You Come see on, that? that's it. Death by sin. Adam didn't die because he ate from the tree physically. He died spiritually because he ate from the tree. 
and there became a partition of it for him and God. God put up angels in the, in the, around the garden, and you're out. Right. You're going to make clothes with fig leaves and kernel. Right. And that's food. You hear that make clothes out of the food he eat. Right. God that's true. Done. Make clothes and put dye on from bear and lamb. Come on. The curse is lamb skin. That's something we were supposed to eat lamb, right? Mm -hmm. We done dyed it and made it a person. He done sold it for 300 Okay, yeah. so. That's real. It said, by one man's death, I mean, in the death by sin, and death passed upon all men, for all have sinned, for all that have sinned, excuse uh -oh. me. And the Bible says, all have sinned and come short of the glory. Mm -hmm. So that means everybody. Nobody is sinless. No, there was only one, Jesus. That was the only man that was sinless, but he had to die for you so that you could be faultless. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Without so, blemish. For until the law, sin was in the world. You, hear, you see that? For until the law, the first law had saved them from sin. The law that Moses tarried for for 40 days and 40 nights. The law that he went to Mount Sinai for and came off and they had made that cow and stuff of gold acting a straight fool down there in the camp. Yeah. Y'all got to read your Bibles right in there. That, that, that thing I just told you right there is better than any episode you ever see on Scamming. Right. So then he say, the sin is not imputed when there is no law. Uh -huh. And so nevertheless, death reigned. And from Adam to Moses. Come on. And when Moses was a, was a form of Christ. Come on, I'm saying something. He was a form of Christ that came to stop some stuff up. Because I got somebody who I can talk to again. I got somebody. Yeah, and, you, and you know what? The thing about it is Moses was a murderer. He couldn't talk right. But God said, I want to use you because I need you to come talk for me. See, see, Moses right. knew his insecurities. That's why he was like, no, nah, you got to be, no, nah, you, you ain't called me. Let me stay here with these sheep at my father-in-law's house. Leave me alone. God right. said, no, I need to talk to you. So then he said, even over them, had he that he not sinned over the similitude of Adam's transgression. He had, see that? Even, did you hear did you know what I said? He was a murderer, but he didn't do what Adam did. Adam just ate from a tree, but he killed somebody. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. But the Bible say right here, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, he, 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 who was the, uh, of him the figure to come. So his murder didn't have nothing on Adam to eat the fruit. Do you see that? Right. See, we put a capital S on murder and a small S on fruit. But God put a capital S on the, on, the, on the fruit and put a small S on the murder. Right. See, we put a capital S on homosexuality and put a small S on the lie. But in Come on. verse 6, he said, six things that I hate. I don't know if it's six or not, but he said, it's six things that I hate. And one of them, he said, was a lying tongue. He didn't say nothing about the homosexual right in there. Come on. Right. We put a big S and a small S on stuff. We know somebody who put a big X on, a, a big S on us, uh, homosexuality and a small S on gluttony. Come on. Oh, God. That's real. We, we, can't, we, we can't do that. Overeating is a sin. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's a work of the flesh. Really? It is. Come on, we all struggle with that. That's why we got bellies. Come on. Come on. The only person that don't struggle is Justin. Come on. And, and uh, 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 Nala. Rest of us are struggling. Come on. That's real. <laughs> I'm like y'all. Come on, I'm, 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 I, I agree. I've been, I'm ready. So, he say, but none of that, none as of the, the offense. So also is the free gift. For if thou, if through of of the, the offense of, of of one many be dead, much more of the grace of God. Okay. Our grace, which is taken from one man, who is Christ, hath abounded unto many. Okay, I'm not, we, we don't, we, we're not going, we're not going to go into it. Let's go to 19. But it says, for by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Did you see that? Because I told you, Adam, not to do that. He said, and so, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. So you see right. that y'all should have shouted right yeah. there because by the obedience of one man, by the name of Jesus Christ, you are made righteous. Yeah. yeah. Not because you did anything right, but because he did something right. Right. But because he bled. And he hung, and he died, and he suffered. Come on. 
And he asked the Lord, Lord, why me? If this cup should pass, let it pass. Yeah. Come on, why me, God? My God, why God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why me, God? Why can't I call the angels to come get me? And I'm all powerful. Right. I'm all tameable. But I've got to die for the sins of many so that they can be made righteous. And so then he said, moreover, the law entered. I'm in, I'm in 20 now in chapter 5. Are y'all following me? Because yes, yes. I don't hear nobody thinking they pages. Y'all got these old phones they're carrying on. And so then he said, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. You know, I'm old school. I like the pages. So he said, uh, 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 but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Come on. We need, to, we need to get in there. And so that as sin has reigned unto death, but, but even so my grace reigned through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. I want you to turn to Galatians 5. I think, I think this is the last. No, it ain't. But we're going to turn. No, we're going to go to John first. John 15. I want to talk about this fruit. Do we have the time? We got time. We got time. 15. This is Jesus right here. Your Bible, your Bible should say red. It should be red. Mm -hmm. It should be red. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said, I am the vine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did he say that? Yes. You say what? Grape. Grape. Fruit. Great. Great. Fruit. Fruit. I am the vine. Uh, yes. It's say great rocks. I am the fruit. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, shut up. Come on, they don't, they, okay. They missed it. Every branch mm -hmm. in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Uh, Let me, I missed something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said, I am the vine. Mine say true vine. Come on. I, say, I am the true vine. Mine say I'm the true vine. And then it say, and my father is the gardener. husbandman, meaning the gardener. Mm -hmm. He's the chiller. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, you got to. Come on. So then he say, he say, I know what the preachers do now when they be itching their face. Come on, because that thing get good to you and you got to itch something. Come on. So then he say, he say, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. So if you're not right. bearing the fruit that he wants you to bear from the, of the one of the grapes that you say he was in your Bible, I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. And then he said, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. Did you see that? He purgeth it. He prunes it. He prepares it. The late Derek Coley wrote a song that said, he's preparing me, he's pruning me, he's changing me, rearranging me. That's what he does to it. Anybody ever been gardening before yet? Y'all still too young. No, no, I haven't. there and you pull the plants off that ain't working. The, 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 the vine going up and you got one turning brown. You got to take that one off. Yeah. But the other ones, ooh, this, this baby right here is coming up. And he pruned that, put a little dirt in that right there. Put some spit on that and make that grow. Put, they, they put egg yolks and all kind of stuff in the plants to try to make them. But they purge it, prune it, rearrange it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's what the gardener does. Then he says... He says, now you are clean. Wait a minute, I'm gonna miss you. So every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. We don't wanna go through the purging, the pruning. We don't wanna go through it. We mm -hmm. wanna just, we want easy street. Yeah, we do. We want beautiful, beautiful. We want yellow brick road street. That's not the street he's called you to. Right, don't ease down. Don't ease down the road. Cause the road is not to be eased down. And the old folks said, I'm climbing up on the rough yep. side of the mountain. Come on. Do -do -do. He said, and then they said, I must hold to God unchanging hand. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. And so then they said, now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You're clean now through the word. The husband might not have to come because you clean by the word. Yeah. He said, now abide in me and I in you. See, so you got to, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Come on, you can't bear fruit by yourself. You got to be connected to something. Right. Then he said, uh, 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 accept it abide in the vine. No more can ye abide in me. You, you have, 
I am the vine, he said, and ye are the branches. Come on, you see how I like that Jesus was so bad about that thing. Gave him a parable, then told him the truth. Come on. Did you see that? Uh-huh. He said, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Without me, ye can do nothing. Did you see that? Yes. Without me, you can't do jack. So don't even try it. But how many try to do stuff without God? And then when it don't work, where you come? Running back to you. Come on. Come on. Adam sinned and messed it up for us, but Jesus came and redeemed it for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can take a, we can get back into the garden. Come on, we can walk right on in. Yeah. Partition is gone. The veil is gone. But he said, without me, you can do nothing. Right. Let me show you something here. Let me take you to Galatians 5. Because I've got to just go to Galatians 5. And, 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 and you should end up at, uh, let me get in there so you can see. Because I didn't even plan to go here. But we got to know what's on the tree. Remember, we learned that the fruit of the Spirit is, is one it's, it's one fruit, but it's nine slices. Did we remember, remember when we learned that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Uh -huh. 16, 5 and 16. We're going to start at 16. Because we read this all the time. But I don't think we really know what it entails when we take a, a walk away from God. When we eat of the tree of, of, of good and knowledge and evil and all of that. And leave the tree of life over here just swamped. Say, but was I? This I then I this then I say. This Paul right here again. Paul was a bad boy. So he said, "Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." Did you see that? If you stay in the garden, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Adam, is did you did you do you see where I'm going with it? When we go back and look at Adam, if you just stay in the garden, if you stay by the tree of life, the one I made to be in the center, because you, can, you can't miss the tree of life. The Bible said it was in the midst of the garden. That means it was in the middle. You can't miss that. But if you stay in the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. He didn't tell Eve that. That's why when I get to heaven, I need to see Adam first. When they wake me up from the from the, the Bible said the day that Christ shall rise, when they wake me up, I'm, I need Jesus. I, you know, we're going to talk, me and you. But let me go back here and talk to Adam real quick. Because he <laughs> left this girl down here. And I have a period every month because he Come left on. her. I'm sorry. Come on, y'all ain't saying did you, did you know that? Y'all didn't know that, did you? Yes. My feet hurt because of her, because of him. So did he say, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Did God make it like that? You remember what I told you, the trees were side by side. You mm -hmm. see, there's two trees. Mm -hmm. So the flesh lusted after the spirit, and the spirit lusted after the flesh. But who was standing against, against the, the, the spirit? Old Slewfoot. Who stands against your spirit? Old Slewfoot. And who lets you? Right. So then he said, Say, and these are contrary to one another. Did you see that? And so that ye cannot do the things that ye would because your flesh has been awakened. Because you don't sit up here and ate this fruit. Right. That you should not, I told you that was forbidden of you to mm -hmm. eat. So he said, but if you be led by the spirit, you're not under the law anymore. Oh my God, I need y'all ain't saying that. This is some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Because I need us to know, you can you, you have an opportunity to get back in there with him. Come on. Even after you don't mess up. How many messed up last night? You have an opportunity to get back in there with him. He said, but if you be led by the Spirit, not the law. Now, the works of the flesh manifest are these. And we need to know this right in here. Adultery. Mm -hmm. Fornication. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Idolatry. It's a big one right there. Idolatry is big. It's big. We put idols on stuff. And they, but they got idols on hair weave now. Come on. Love your nose and you who have it. God bless you. But there's idols on it. You have to get the finest Brazilian Remy and, and wet wavy. It, there's idols on it. It's a God now. Come on. It's a beauty mechanism, but it's a God. Small G. Then it, say, it says, it says, uh, 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 Witchcraft. It's a big one. Yeah. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. We forsake witchcraft because we don't see the witch. Yeah. But 
I mean, the witch look like us nowadays. Right. Come on, she done blend in. Witch behind the pulpit. Come, mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Talk that talk. The, the, the witch, the warlocks is behind the pulpit with a robe on. Mm -hmm. Offering, have an offering lines. Mm -hmm. I have a whole Prophecy won't come to pass if you don't give us a thousand. That's a warlock spirit. Come on. It's a witchcraft demon. Hatred. We got a lot of self hatred going on. You know, our next, our next podcast, our next uh, talk show, whatever we're going to call it. It's about identity crises. When there's an identity crisis, there is self-hatred. Because mm -hmm. I don't know myself. Why? Because somebody ate up the tree and made me put on a fig leaf. Right. They sold it up for me. Hatred. They sold it up for me. Put it on. I was naked and I loved myself. Now I have to hide because of my sinful nature. Mm -hmm. Got insecurities because of my sinful nature. Did you see that? Yes. You, 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 your eyes are open now. And so he said, a variance. Variance is just uh, jealousy. Be jealous of one another. Because your eyes are open now. Everybody looks the same. Adam and Eve look the same. Uh huh. And we get jealous now because yours is bigger than mine. Yours is wider than mine. Yours is longer than mine. So <laughs> Then we have emulations, wrath, mm -hmm. anger, road rage. Just pop, pop, pop. They don't know me because they are. Wrath. That's wrath. That's the spirit of wrath. We got that from the love of hip hop. Jerry Springer hit the scene. People didn't know how to act. They snap. They don't even have chairs. I'm going to leave that alone. Right. So he said, <laughs> wrath, strife. Seditions, and heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, and not, not just alcohol. They're not, they're, not on, they're not going on some Hennessy or something like that. That's not it. They're not drinking Syrah. This is drunkenness. We drunk with what the world can give us. Come on. Tree done made you drunk. Uh -huh. I can feel it. I can taste it. That's drunkenness. Then he say, he say, because Paul had to break this down to the Galatians because they thought there was all of that. If, if you read the four words of the books, you'll see he had to break it down to him. Mm -hmm. God raised up, God raised up from the dead. Some of y'all was there. And you want to act like that? He hmm. say, he say revelings. And, and revelings, starting stuff, starting stuff with the brother. Keep the gossip going. But well, he said that she has said, and that's why I don't go to that church because yeah. revelings, mess, lying. Then he say, and such like of the of, of the of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past. Didn't I what he's saying is didn't I tell you this before? We don't talk right. about this. We don't before. talk about this before. And that's uh -huh. what we get in Bible study, stuff we've talked about before, but we need to just get it in there. We talked about the atonement. We know that that, that Jesus died, but we didn't know about that priest who sprinkled that thing seven times. And y'all didn't know either because y'all wasn't there. Come on. Love you. I'm, I'm trying. Listen, go to our speaker page and listen to that thing. So, he said, "They shall uh, such things shall in, in, not inherit the kingdom of God." But the fruit of the spirit, do you see that? Is is is? I made a tree right here, God. I made a tree. We know that the fruits of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, is peace, joy, love, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness and self-control. But the things that you can get from the garden is what I want to point out. Come uh -huh. on. We know that. That's on one branch right there. All of them nine on one branch. Stuff. But this is what you can get when you take a walk back to the garden. The Bible said you can get, the Lord told me you can get comfort when you can take a walk back to the garden. How many need to be comforted right in here? Come on. He said, I will send a comforter to you when I leave. I'm the branch, I'm the true vine and all of that. I've got the grape and all of that, but you can't get nothing without me, but I'm going to send a comforter to you when I leave because I have to go because my father prepared a place for me. Come on. So when I go there, shall you come to after. That's what he's saying. Yeah. You, 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 you can get power from the tree. Come on, you can get power from the garden. Come on, I believe this is what the tree of life was all about. We can get some power from the tree of life. 
we can get some power when we walk back into the garden. Then he say, uh, he, he, he say, I, I worship. It's, 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 some, it's some worship songs that we tried to sing today, but it's God given worship that we go through. Come on. When you go back to the garden, that's what you get. You get that God given worship that just knocks you off your feet, mm -hmm. takes you to one line that says, you, uh, 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 you know the depths of my heart and you love me the same, oh God, while you lean leaning next to the branch. Come on, that's what you can do. That's what you get when you go back to the garden. Right. You can get conversion when you go back. You get converted, which means a conversion process happens when you get next to the tree and yeah. you get into the garden. You can be converted from, from grams to pounds. Come on. Or from pounds to grams. I said it to you last night. Come on, we can be converted for real when we get back into the garden. Giving. Being in the garden makes you want to just give of your time, of your money. Come on, it helps you want to spend, you want to sow, help. Come on. Yeah. So we don't, we don't, you, you, you watch Fox 5 and they have the, the, the rent on and you know, they don't, well, we just don't have any good Samaritans anymore. The devil is a lie. Yes, we do. Right. Come on. Because we're going to get back in the garden and do what we're supposed to do for society, for mankind. Right. Because we got brothers and sisters who waiting on us. Like Adam had, but Christ made it a, a possible for us to go back and do it again. We can get Come ideas. On. Come on, because money equals ideas. Come on, ideas equal money. Come on. It's your application of them, which is why you still broke. But it say ideas equal money, money equals ideas. The application that you don't have makes you broke. Come on. But that garden will give you power that you can apply. Come on, I'm saying something right there. Yeah. You have to apply your ideas. And then that equals the money. Come on, that's an equation in there. Brian can write that because he's a math wizard. Come on, you got to apply that. You can get uh, uh, healing. It's healing in his wings is what, is what Amos said. It's healing in the leaves. Come on. You stand up under the tree for so long, you can get healed. We got to get back into the garden so we can get healed. Come on. How many broken hearts did we have when we first came to the station because of the churches that we were at? We were not healed. Yeah. We were broken people. We were hurt people by pastors and teachers and preachers. Family members and friends. Hurt. We got healed. You ought, to, you ought to praise the Lord for the healing that you have received. You ain't healed. You keep your hands closed. But if you have been healed, you ought to give God a praise. Come on. Hallelujah. You become a servant when you get back into the garden. Mm -hmm. Adam was a servant. He was made to, to till the ground. Did you see that in the Bible? Yes. I, I need y'all to see. I need you to upload this immediately, sir. Because we need you need to go back and look at this for yourself. Because you need to understand that you get you you have an opportunity through Christ to get back in there. Come on, walk back on through. Then he say, he say, where I'm at. Contentment is in the garden. Yeah. Satisfied. I mean, I mean, never satisfied. We always want more. More, more, more. Now, you get satisfied when you get in the garden. Mm -hmm. That's all I need right in here. You give you another idea. Oh, you apply. You come on right on back to the garden. You know right. what I love about Oprah Super Soul Sunday? It's always in her garden. Yeah. In her home in Santa Barbara or in her home in Maui. It's always in the garden. Why? Because the leaves are healing. It's meditative state when the wind begins to blow, like now. You see a soft breeze is coming through? That's how the Super Soul Sunday be, and they be sitting there. We'll be there one day talking to her. Come on. Come on. Some of that old tea. Come on. I, I, the ideas equal money. Application equals money. Mm -hmm. Come on. Application equals wealth. Now, come on. We got to put that equation together, uh, Bishop, because we got to make a business class or something. Because mm -hmm. when we get when we when we get there, we need other people to know. Right, right, right. Because we're not a stingy people. We're not selfish. I'm not jealous. I'm the biggest chillin' of everybody in here. Because when you make it, I'm going too. Right, right. And they call her the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. I'll be right there. In my Thomas original, taking pictures. Come on, y'all ain't saying nothing. You still got to dream big. You still got to put the idea in the garden and let the Lord cultivate you so you can apply it. But if you don't get to the garden, he can't cultivate it. Come on. 
and the application can't take place because you don't have any power. Right. Come on, you gotta get back in there and get to that tree. And so then, what else is there? Do I have time? Have I gone over the time? Oh God, almost. Let me get it together. But am I boring y'all? No. Uh huh. Because I didn't think so. And so then you get strength when you come back to the tree. <laughs> you get you get commands when you come back to the tree. You 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 get Jesus when you come back to the tree. You 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 get you get truth. Come on, prophecy. The tree prophesies just like the wind prophesies. Mm -hmm. The tree prophesies. Mm -hmm. The music prophesies. So why can't the tree prophesy? If we had, a, remember, Becton used to prophesy on the drum. They wouldn't let him because old oh, ignorant people was like, "Oh, it's just too loud." Don't know the power of God. The sound. We don't pick. If the voice can prophesy, why can't the drum? Come on, it's an instrument. Obedience. When you, get to the garden, you obey. You learn how to obey the command that you receive in the garden. You learn how to obey it. Yeah. Holiness is what you get when you get in the garden. It's nothing more pure than this. You know why the wind blows to blow out. Uh, uh, pollution. Mm -hmm. and the impurities. That's what the scientists say. It blows yeah. out the pollution and the, the impurities. The earthquakes come for the same thing. I want to rip everything up. We're going to start over. Yeah. It's, the insurance policy can't do nothing right in here. We're going to rip this up. Floods come to, do, to, to, to cleanse. Yeah. Come on, ain't nothing new. Noah said the flood is coming. He said 120 years later. It came. What, what happened? The earth was cleansed. Right. Just like last Friday and Saturday when it rained, mm -hmm. the earth was cleansed. Come on, Vegas was cleansed. Yeah. We forsake it, talking about, well, you know, we don't really get rain in the Las Vegas Valley. It rained all day today. No, there was a cleansing that took place in yeah. the city. The Lord told me that. Why? Because I was at home all day with brothers in my head. I wasn't going nowhere. Come on. We got to get back into the garden. Prayer. You know what else awaits? Prayer and intimacy awaits us at the garden. Oh, yes. You know how I know? Because the garden of Gethsemane waited for Jesus. Yeah. There's no other garden on the map that he could go to, but that was the only one waiting for him. Yeah. Because it was near where he needed to be. The garden of Gethsemane awaited for Jesus to pray. Didn't it wait for the disciples? He just took them with him because he wanted to. You know how you want to pray as part of Yeah. I mean, well, that's my prayer partner. Now, Jesus said, I'm going to take them with me. But they sat by the tree and went to sleep. Because mm -hmm. there was peace, peace at the tree. Yes. But prayer awaited Jesus in the garden. And peace awaited them at the tree. Yeah. He got nervous and said, you couldn't wait for me one hour? Mm. Wait for God's will. Go on back to sleep. Let yeah. me go back to the garden and pray. Because, see, I get my power in the garden. He got power to say to the Roman soldiers, are you the man they call Jesus? I am he. Come on. Judas came and kissed him. He told do what you have to do and, and do it quick. Do it quickly. Yeah. That's what we get when we go back. We have to take a walk back into the garden. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Have to take a walk back into the garden so that you can have the things that you need to have. The things that God meant for us to have in the garden, Adam messed it up. But Jesus came and fixed it. And Jesus fixed it. Come on. And so when he came and fixed it for us, come on. Oh, I'm ready. When he came and fixed it for us, what did we do? He, the Bible said he fixed it for us. So if he fixed it, why did Paul have to talk so much still? If he fixed it, why did Peter have to write some books? So come on. It, 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 if we, I'm sorry, he fixed it. But if we add, if we wanted to act right, why Paul had to talk to us so much? Right. Why did Peter have to rebuke us again? Why, why, did, why did John have to say what he had to say? And then the revelator came and said some other stuff. Because Jesus had fixed it. Yeah. But, but he gave us the opportunity to get back in there. Right. You want to find me something to play? Some, 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 some praise song or something because we, we missed that whole thing because we got lost but we needed to know that the garden the middle of the garden is where we belong 
Yeah. We belong back in the, we got to get back to the middle of the garden, not in the midst. We need to be back in the middle because the tree of life was in the middle of the garden. And that's what we need to get back to. I still believe God for the dreams and the hopes and the visions that he's given all of us. I still believe God. But why haven't we applied it? Because we don't have the power. Come on, we got, how many have the power to do it? Oh, okay. So when you get back to the garden, you will gain power. You will gain strength. You will gain everything you need to do what you need to do. You will gain healing if your heart is still broken. How many still are walking around with a broken heart? And, and not from the church, from stuff your family may have done, a past relationship. Emotions are still bruised. We got to get back to the garden. Yeah. How many need more money? Money equals ideas. Ideas equals money. And somewhere in the parentheses are the applications. And we need to apply ourselves. And then somewhere in, in, the, in the bracket is the power. Come on, Bishop, you need to figure that out. That PIMDA method or something. The brackets have the power. Come on. Somewhere in there we need to apply ourselves. We're not applying ourselves. Somebody waiting for a big boom to come out the sky. Is that you? Waiting on a big boom to come out the sky? Waiting on somebody to call you and you ain't done nothing? No, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen like that. That's not a miracle from him. Ooh, guess who called me? No, because Shonda Rums is not going to call my number. Why? Because she doesn't have it. Why? Because I haven't given it to her. She's not just going to find me on, on uh, 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 the white pages in Las Vegas. I have to give it to her. Do you see? Yeah. We have to apply ourselves. we got to get back. Come on, let's stand up and sing this song with me. Stretch your muscles right in there. You can sit down for a long time. With God send healing to your knees. We encourage you to continue to tune in regularly. And if you are in the Las Vegas Valley, join us at the YMCA located at 4141 Meadows Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89107. Meet us there every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. As well, like us on Facebook and tune in to our podcast on our Heart Radio. If you are in need of special prayer, please email us at thefillingstationlv at gmail.com. We will be glad to labor with you until God offers a resolve. You can also sow a seed into this ministry by giving online through PayPal. Sow all seeds to thefillingstationlv at gmail.com. Expect a harvest. Be blessed.